Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to the yoga session hosted by Santa Clara County Library. Uh, today's session, we are going to start in a standing position. So if you have really nicely settled down on your mat, I humbly request all of you to stand up. And we're going to just keep our legs to the distance of our hips. I'm going to just give it a minute, just in case you're still working on standing up. So let's lift our 10 toes off the ground. I want you to really spread it out. I'm using my hand to show it, right? So just spread your 10 toes really well, and then just place it down nicely. So I can hear some noises in the background. I request everybody to please mute because we have a large number of participants in this class. Uh, it will be very difficult if we don't all mute at the same time. So please mute yourself. Okay, one more time. Let's lift those ten toes off and let's press it down. Finding our grounding with our feet. You're keeping your legs slightly apart, about hip width apart. Just let go of your hands nice and relaxed next to your body. And very gently and softly close your eyes. Once again, try to bring your awareness to your base of the feet. And let's try to create an imprint of our feet onto the mat. Try to visualize if you were in a beach, standing on the sand, if you're trying to dig your feet really deep into the sand, try to create a nice, beautiful imprint of your feet. Pressing the toes, the balls of the feet, the arches, and the heel. Try to get a beautiful connection with Mother Earth. That is supporting our body weight right now. And slowly start to draw your energy, the healing energy from Mother Earth, entering into both your feet. Now allow this warm and healing energy to enter into your ankles, relaxing your ankle joints. all your calf muscles on both your legs, your knee joints. Let the healing energy lubricate those joints, relaxing and letting go of any pain or tightness we may be holding around our knee joints. Relax both your thighs, And now allow the healing energy of Mother Earth to slowly and gently start to enter into your lower back. Relaxing your lower back. Your mid back. And your upper back. Your entire back is completely relaxed now. Gently allow the healing energy of Mother Earth to enter into your abdominal region, relaxing each and every single organ within. If you notice that you are holding any kind of tension, uncertainty, or fear in your gut, mm -hmm. 
Let this warm and healing energy relax, letting go of all the fear, sending a gentle message that everything is going to be okay and that you are in a safe space. Relax the center of your chest and move your awareness to your shoulders and the neck region. Oftentimes we hold a lot of stress and tension around this area. With each breath in and out, trying to relax the shoulder and neck muscles and allowing them to heal. Relax your entire face. Relax your jaw and your tongue inside your mouth. Relax your eyeballs and the space in between your eyebrows. Take a moment to scan your body all the way from the head to the toes. And if there is any specific part that needs a little bit more healing. Go ahead and tend to it with the healing energy of Mother Earth. Feel that your total body is relaxed. And you have a lot of clarity in your mind and a lot of confidence within yourself. Very slowly, let's start to open our eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to our head. Just move your hands. You can keep your feet just the way they are. If you want to just shake it off, quickly shake it off. But continue to keep your legs to the distance of your hips. We're going to just roll our body back and forth. So we're not changing anything about our legs, but try to move your upper body a little bit forward. Try to lean forward and connect with your heels. Feel that they are becoming slightly lighter, right? They're not lifting off. And then let's sway back a little bit. And see, you might almost be feeling like I'm going to slowly release my clothes off now, but you are not, right? And then one more. Let's try to lean forward. And let's try to reach back. Just trying to find our grounding, stability, understanding how the body weight moves. We oftentimes don't even realize how much weight our feet bears, right? Let's try to do one thing. Lift your 10 toes off the ground now. Now press your ten toes down to the ground, lift your heels off the ground, try to balance on the balls of your feet. Hold. Let's drop our heels down, lift your ten toes off. Let's press our ten toes, release both your heels off the ground. Let's drop our heels down, take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands, let's take the heel of the palm all the way up. I'm going to walk a little bit back so my head doesn't get cut off. We're going to just start by lifting our heels off in the beginning. So just try to lift your heels, both your heels off the ground. Try to balance on the balls of your feet as you press your palms up towards the ceiling. Stay. And let's drop those heels down. Try this one more time. Lift your heels off the ground. Let's try to balance. This is the time sometimes we focus so much on the position that we forget to breathe. Breath is the one that's keeping us moving and the muscles need them. So don't stop breathing and release. 
Just one last time. Let's lift those heels off the ground. Let's take your palms all the way up. Now keep your heels off the ground. Circle your hands. Try to squeeze your belly so you can uh, maintain this balancing position. And when your hands almost come close to your body, let go of your heels down. Interlock your hands, press the heel of the palm off, inhale, heels off, hands go up, balance. Those of us who find it very challenging to balance, do not worry. You can keep your heels down and still work with your arms. Circle your hands, heels off the ground, squeeze your abdominal muscles. When your hands come super close to your body, heels down, interlock your hands, press the heel of the palm up, stay. Widen your stance. So we are taking it about one step away on both sides. Let's try to balance and see if this helps us a little bit. Slowly as you inhale, both your heels off the ground, hands go up, squeeze your belly, jaw relaxed, breathe, circle your hands, squeeze your belly. When your hands come really close to your body, drop your heels down. Let's take our hands, come into a squat position. Now you know why we widen the legs, right? Slowly interlock your hands. Let's take the heel of the palm up. Take your hands all the way up. Heels off the ground, balance. Heels off the ground, circle your hands. Hands come close to the body, heels down. Interlock your hands, let's come down. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, heels off the ground, hands go up. Heels off the ground, hands, circle your hands. Heels down, bend your knees, press your palms up. Stay, keep your heels down, take your hands only all the way up. So no more balancing. Let's start with the side body. Take your hands all the way towards your right side, starting to open up the left side of the body. One of the things that happens here is we sometimes bring our hand in front of our face. I want you to open that shoulder. So try to take your left elbow a little bit more and then extend your arms. Stay. Are you breathing? Remember to tighten your core when you release. Otherwise, it will put pressure on your lower back. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. Come back to the center. Stay. Let's take it to the other side. Make sure your right arm doesn't come in front of your face. Open that elbow. Extend your arms. Push your hips away from the midline. Tighten your core muscles. Come back to the center. Release your hands. Let's rotate those shoulders. And reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. All right. We're going to flex our lower back muscles. So walk your feet back. Hip width wide. Take your hands this time, your palm is facing forward. Push your hips back, lead with your chin, and you're going to come with your upper body parallel to the ground. So it's just halfway through right here. Try to push your hips a little further back, squeeze your belly. So we're going to do this gentle warm up so that we are ready for deeper stretches, right? And come into a half forward bend. We're going to give a back bend to the body now. So inhale, kind of slightly bend your knees this way. And let's take our hands all the way up. And let's give a back bend to the body. Keeping your knees bent if you can. Exhale, try to lock your knees, push your hips back. Place your palms on top of your kneecaps. Lead with the crown of your head. So remember how we swayed our body weight forward and back. Try to lean forward now. Now bend your knees a lot. Take your hands all the way up, palms facing up to the ceiling. Connect with your lower back. Arching up your back. Exhale, press your kneecaps back. Palms resting on top of your kneecaps softly. You're going to go down further. Slowly as you exhale, come into a full forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Now, if you feel the tightness is there still at the back of your legs, do not hesitate to bend your knees a little bit. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Bend your knees a lot. Let's try to press our belly into our thighs. 
Fly your hands to the side. Take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands. Press the heel of the palm all the way up. I'm going to add, widen your stand a little bit now. Take your hands all the way towards your right side. Left arm doesn't come in front of your face. Open up those elbows. I want you to open your elbows to the back so you will feel a squeeze in your shoulder blades. Really open it up. And now try to bring your right elbow down towards the right side of your body. So this way. If you notice, the skin on top of your left rib cage is slightly more stretched and there is a dip on the right side, right? So we are feeling more stretch, obviously, on the left side. Let's extend. Uh, tighten your core muscles. Come back to the center. Let's go towards the other side. Pull, open up your elbows and now connect with the skin on top of your right rib cage. And let's try to bring that left elbow next to the body. Extend, core tight, come back to the center. Release your hands, rotate your shoulders, and reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. Let's widen the stand a little bit more. We'll work with our upper body a little bit more also. Open up your hands into T-arm position. Let's take our right hand, cross it diagonally. Take your left hand and stack up your hands. So your elbows are stacked up one over the other and you are slowly coming into eagle arm position. So your palms, I'm just turning myself so you can see me. Your palms are hugging towards each other. Those of you who are doing eagle arms for the first time. Now some of us have shoulder issues and this is very complicated for us. It's okay, just hug yourself. Give yourself a lot of love. Those of us who can, eagle arm position. Let's simply draw our elbows towards the right side. So that's all you're doing. Now make a connection with your left shoulder blade. Come back to the center. Let's drop it towards the other side. And come back to the center. Observe that your right hand is below right now, right? So we're going to switch arms. Release your hands all the way up. Press, press, press. Left comes below, right comes on the top. Eagle arm position. Lift your elbows up a little bit more. Let's drop it towards the left side. Come back to the center. Let's drop it towards the right side. And come back to the center. Release your hands. Let's press those palms all the way to the back. And just rotate your shoulders and reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. All right, so we, now we're going to work with our legs a little bit. Take your heels and turn your toes towards your right side. The left leg toes continues to stay just the way they are. We are only angling our right leg toes towards the right side. I want you to widen your stance. So walk your left leg a little bit farther away. So you're increasing the distance between your legs and bend your right leg. Now you are in a warrior feet position. Okay? So we're going to angle this leg a little bit more. Turn your left leg toes like that. So the knife edge of your left leg is not parallel to the width of your mat, which is the back of your mat, but it is angled like this. Okay? Now place your hands on your hips and turn your whole body facing towards your right side. So you are basically now in a simple warrior feet position. Bring your hands into T-arm position, just like how you did earlier on. Let's take the right hand below, take the left hand on the top, bring yourself into eagle arm position. We're going to do cat and cow this way today. Very slowly, as you inhale, take your elbows all the way up. Stay. And exhale, come back to the center. I'm going to build on this sequence. So two more, one more round this way and then I'll add on. Slowly as you inhale, let's take it all the way up. And exhale, bring it back, parallel to uh, the elbows and shoulders are in one straight line. You can stay here and do the couple of rounds more like this or work on releasing your left heel off the ground. So now you're balancing. Ready? 
Inhale, let's take the arms all the way up. Exhale, start to lean forward. Slowly start to take your elbows and try to bring your right shoulder next to your right knee and touch your knuckles, knuckles to the ground. Inhale, very slowly balance. Take your time. Let's take it all the way up. And exhale, gently tuck that right elbow to the inside of your right knee and your knuckles touch down. If it is too much for you, drop that back heel down if you're losing your balance. Pull the belly button towards you and very slowly bring yourself back to your start position. Drop your left heel down. Gently dig your heel, turn your toes or toes facing forward, come back to the center. Release your hands. Let's press those hands all the way to the back. Quickly rotate and reverse. Let's release the tension of our legs a little bit. So we're going to simply pedal our legs. So bend your left leg and move your whole body towards your left side. Take your hands towards your left side. Come back to the center and lean towards your right side. Bend your right knee and lean towards your right side. Come back to the center and release. Take your left leg, turn your toes towards the left side. Walk your right leg a little bit more away from you. Angle your toes so that you can turn your whole body now. Your shoulders, your hip points are facing towards your left side. Let's keep the feet down first round, first two rounds. Bend your left leg. Let's open up our hands into T arm position. Left hand comes below, right hand comes on the top. Eagle arm position. Your elbows are right now in line with your shoulders. Ready? Simple cat and cow. Think about cat and cow, how you would do that breath, right? Inhale, arch up your back. Let's take it all the way up. And exhale, bring it back here. Final. Inhale, let's take it all the way up. And exhale, bring it back. Ready? If you want to challenge a little bit more, slowly work on releasing your right heel off the ground. Optional, guys, totally optional. Ready? Inhale, let's take it all the way up. Arch it up. And exhale. Tuck that left shoulder to the inside of your left knee and rest your knuckles down. Catch your breath. Ready? One more. Inhale, arch up your back, take your time. This involves balance, stability, being in the present moment. And exhale. Very slowly, left elbow, deliberately tap that elbow to the inside of that left knee and then touch your knuckles down. Inhale, let's come into the start position. Slowly drop your right feet down, dig your heel, turn your left toes, come back to the center. Release your hands, press your palms all the way to the back. Rotate your shoulders and reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. Slowly heel toe yourself. So you're going to press on your heels and your toes and your heels and your toes. And you're going to come back to the center and shake your legs off a little bit. Let's step to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to the heart center. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's give a nice deep back bend to the body. Exhale, bring yourself into a forward bend position. Step your right leg to the back. Step your left leg to the back. Drop your knees down. A very simple, basic cat and cow position. Wrist in line with the shoulders. Knee in line with the hips. Space between the legs. Neck is in line with the spine. It's a neutral position. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale. Down. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, down. 
Let's come into a neutral position. Tuck your toes and just bring your left leg forward and bring yourself all the way up. Those of us who have knee issues, you can use a towel like this and slowly place it below that right knee so that you don't feel any pressure on your knee. Okay? Otherwise, it's all right. If you don't need it, I would recommend just keep a towel below your knee so that it doesn't feel the pain while it's pressing to the floor. Let's take our left hand. Remember earlier on when we did it in the eagle arm position, we're going to use that now. So walk your left leg a little, one a tiny bit away from you. Turn your whole body towards your right side. The reason is we are trying to create space here so that we can actually take our left hand and look at my left shoulder. It has come in line with my left knee and I'm placing my left palm down to the ground. Take your right hand all the way up. Open up that shoulder. Let's rotate that arm. Reach your right hand forward. Circle your arm. Take your right hand, look over your right shoulder and take it all the way up. Reverse, right goes back. Fingers touch the ground. Right comes forward and take it all the way up. Now gently place your right palm also down to the ground. Both your palms are facing down to the ground. We have an option to release our right knee off the ground. Totally optional. Those of us who want to challenge a little bit more, release your right knee off the ground. Still okay here? Release your right hand off the ground. Let's circle it. Up. Back. Down. And forward. Down, back, up, and forward. Place your right hand down to the ground. Drop your right knee down to the ground. Slowly walk your left leg out a little bit more. And then gently walk your hands back. Bring yourself all the way up. So if you observe now, the knife edge of our leg is in line with the length of the mat, right? So we uh, want to keep it within the frame of the mat, except we have crawled all the way with our left leg to the outer edge. You can stay here, or I'll give you another option, right? So we're going to take our right leg a little farther back. Why are we doing that? Because we want to stretch our quads, right? So tuck your right leg toes, release your right knee off the ground, and walk on the ball of the feet and take that leg a little farther away from you. So go a little further back with that leg. And now rest that knee down. So we have increased the distance between our legs. That's too much for you, bring it back. Those of us who want to stay here, we are going to stay here. Those of us who want to slowly bend our elbows, start to drop your elbows down. And breathe. Shobhaji, yeah. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, the left leg which is bent, are we, uh, the foot is on the floor or we are on the edge of the floor? No, edge still on the, the I, I haven't gone there yet. Thank oh, you for okay. asking, but we have the whole feet still to the ground. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Yes, I'm going to go to that next, yeah. Let's drop the elbows down, stay here. I want us to just warm up those inner thighs on the left side. And then very slowly, take your time, gently walk your hands back. All right, so the question that was asked was, did we have the whole feet to the ground? Because when we're going to lizard lunge, we do peel off the inside edge of that leg. So I wanted the inner thighs to first warm up before we go there, because some of us are not ready to directly go into this position, right? So we kept our feet completely down. Now slowly walk your hands back towards your body, I want you to keep your knee down to the ground and now peel the inside edge of your leg, right? But don't change anything about your right leg and try to drop your left knee completely outward like that. So you'll notice that the inner thigh stretch has deepened much more and press it back. 
Let's try this one more time. Let's open it up. And let's drop it down. Those of us who want to stay here, you can stay here. You don't have to go any further. Those of us who want to take it one notch up, rest your palms completely down to the ground. Gently release your right knee off the ground. Still okay here? Peel the inside edge of that right leg off, just like how you did earlier on. Still okay here? Now bump up your hips towards your right side. So the more you move your hips, you're going to feel it all the way on your left glute, on your inner thighs. Maybe some of us are not ready for this, right? So think about it. Breathe. And breathe. And now slowly place that right feet down and that right knee down to the ground. Very slowly walk your hands back towards you. Keep your back leg toes tucked, your right leg toes tucked and bring yourself all the way up. We're going to stretch this leg out really well now. So walk that left leg to the center of the mat. So heel to yourself and come back to the center of the mat. Let's take our left leg toe, sorry, excuse me, right leg toes, turn it inwards and extend your left leg all the way out. Flex your feet. That feels good because we kind of feel relaxed around the legs. Take your hands all the way up. Let's work on leading with the chin, push your hips back, place the hands on either side of that left leg. Some of us might have our hands hanging in here, right? Maybe we are not able to place our hands down. Then you can rest your hands on top of your thigh. But just make sure you don't dump your whole upper body weight on that leg because it's too much for the body, the leg to take the whole body weight. Softly keep it like that. Or on either side. Those of us who want to go a little bit deeper, the right leg toes, relax it like that. Push your hips a little farther back and try to sit. You'll start to feel the stretch a little deeper at the back of your legs. Flex your feet, turn your toes towards your body. You can just stay here. Option to walk your hands, hold on to your toes. You'll feel a little bit more. Option to open your elbows, bringing your forehead towards your left knee. So we have almost like four variations of this one. Pick the one that works best for you today. Slowly pull the belly button towards you. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Circle your hands. Let's drop those palms down. And let's pull the, uh, uh, bring the left knee back in position. Take your right leg also back in position. Place your hands on either side of your left leg. Release your right knee off the ground. Let's take that left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Point your toes. Stay where you are. We're going to go into a fire hydrant position from here. Bend your left leg. Coming into a fire hydrant position. Turning your left knee up towards the ceiling. Inhale, take your left leg all the way up. Point your toes and gently drop your left leg down and start to pedal your legs off. Slowly drop your knees down. Let's come back to our cat and cow position and we will restart the whole thing on the other side. Relax your toes, let the toenails touch the ground. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Slowly come into a neutral position. The neck is in line with the spine. Tuck your toes and gently step your right leg forward and bring yourself all the way up. Let's quickly rotate our wrists off just in case any of us are tender around the wrist. So use this time to slowly rotate your wrists off a little bit and reverse the direction. If you feel like massaging, just use your thumb and the heel of your palm, you can massage it out like that. 
on the other side as well. All right. So we're going to start with the. Remember, we started with taking our shoulder inward, right? So let's slowly try to walk this leg a little bit far. Don't go too far. Just maybe tiny bit. So you have room. Turn your whole body towards your left side, and then gently take your right shoulder and tuck it to your right knee, and press your whole palm down to the ground. Still okay here? Let's take our hand all the way up and up. We'll start with our shoulder rotations. Forward, circle, down. Take it all the way to the back and up. Forward, circle. Take it all the way to the back and up. Reverse, back, ground, forward, and up. Five more, back, down, forward, and up. Slowly place both your palms down to the ground. You have an option to lift your left knee off the ground. Tuck your back leg toes. If you feel ready for this one. Gently work on lifting your knee off the ground. After you lifted your knee up, if you feel, oh no, this is not for me, do not hesitate to rest it down. Right? Those of us who are ready, let's press that heel all the way to the back. Stay where you are. There is something that I want to talk about over here. So one of the things that happens when we lift that left leg off is we could be keeping it nowhere. Like it's not resting down. It's not all the way to the back. It's kind of hanging in here. We don't want to do that. Our goal is to feel the stretch at the back of the leg. So press your heel all the way to the back. If you have it off the ground, otherwise you're better to keep it to the ground. Ready? Let's do this. Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Back, up. Forward and down. Last time, back, up, forward and down. Let's bring that knee down, guys. Relax your toes if you need to. Stay where you are. I'm going to angle myself forward. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to walk this right leg to the edge of the mat. So gently walk your right leg all the way to the edge of the mat like that. If you want to increase the distance between your legs, which is optional, press on your palms, tuck your left leg toes. I'll go to the side so you can watch me this one better. Right? So if you look at my leg, back leg toes. I'm going to tuck it. I'm going to release that knee off the ground. I'm going to walk on the ball of my feet like that. So I'm kind of increasing the distance between my legs, and then I'm resting that knee down. So now you will already start to feel a stretch in the inside of your thigh of your right leg. Right, because we have widened our stand. Keep your feet to the ground. Do not lift anything off right now. I want us to just get a good connection, a deep connection with our inner thighs of the right leg. Slowly start to bend your elbows, and let's see how that feels to bring those elbows down. And breathe. Starting to surrender to the ground. So don't try to hold your hips up. In fact, let it go. And breathe. Very slowly you take your hand, walk your hands back towards your body. Those of us who don't want to go any further, you can continue to be here. Those of us who want to, let's try to peel the inside edge of that right leg and try to drop your knee outward. So you connect with your right glute and connect with your inner thigh. Maybe you're feeling some sensations in that area. And drop it back. Let's drop it out. So let go. Let go of that leg. Let it naturally gravitate downwards. So we definitely feel it in our right hip, and drop it down. Right now, you can stay here. This is an option. Those of us who want to take it slightly deeper, 
Press on your palms. Lift your left knee off the ground. Press that heel to the back, remember? And now feel the inside edge and bump up your hips towards your right side. You'll feel much deeper stretch. And drop it back. Let's do this one more time. Out, push your hips to the right side, guys. If you're real, you're those of you who are ready, who are doing for a long time, you're ready for this. And drop it back. Let's drop that right knee down to the ground. Catch your breath here. Very slowly, heel toe, bring that leg back in position. Tuck your left leg toes. Release your left knee off the ground. Take your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Point your toes. Draw circles. Reverse. Fire hydrant. Open up that inner thigh. Further. Take that right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Drop that leg down and pedal your legs off. Drop your knees down into a child's position. Take a nice break, guys, because your hips are really nicely warmed up and open now. And breathe. Very slowly, lift your head up. I'm going to do two more exercises for the hips itself today. So walk your hands back towards your body. Take your legs to one side. And let's drop our glutes down and extend your legs all the way out. And simply shake your legs off a little bit. All right, bend your right leg. Take your left leg. The knee of your left leg is approximately to the arch of your right. Okay. So we are going to come into a pigeon position from here. Some of us may not be ready for a pigeon position. If you're not ready for it, it's okay. You can stay here and just work on placing your elbows down like this. Right? Those of us who want to take it a little bit deeper, keep your left hand forward. Keep your right hand next to the body. Press on your palms. Lift your hips up. Walk both your hands forward. You're going to take your left leg all the way to the back. So take that left leg, extend it all the way to the back, drop your knee down and relax your toes of your left leg. You can stay here. Let's see how it feels to drop only the elbows down. So just rest your elbows down to the ground. I'll just go to a little bit to the back so I don't get cut off. You can still see me. Rest your elbows down like this. If bringing elbows down is a challenge for you for any reason, it's okay for you to be here. You're good. You're still, right? The glute is still working. Your hips are still working to open up, right? Now you have an option also to extend your hands and bring your forehead down to the ground completely. Pick the level that works for you guys. Do not try to push your body beyond its limits. The body takes time to slowly open up. Very slowly walk your hands back. I wish I could stay in that pigeon position for five more minutes. I kind of started to settle down over there. Keep your left hand in front of you, right hand next to the body. Simply sweep your back leg forward. Left extended, right bent. Take your hands all the way up. Left to the left, right hand goes all the way over. Simple side body stretch. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Right hand comes next to the body. Right knee comes down. Press on your palm. Lift your hips up. Drop your left feet completely down to the ground. Take your left hand all the way over. Opening up the left side of the body. Circle your hands. Helicopter your hands. And just drop your hips down. Rotate your right wrist off. We did transfer our body weight onto that hand and reverse. 
Extend both your legs and shake off. All right, let's do it on the other side. Bring your left leg forward. Bend your right leg. Option one, just be here. Don't go anymore. If this is what you want to do, try to work on bringing your elbows down like this. Sometimes our elbows don't come down. Maybe we are just here, it's okay. Try to center yourself. Try to push your head, press your, uh, keep your upper bodies to the center, stay here or here, right? Those of us who want to take it next level, right palm, left, press on your palms, hips up, right leg goes back, knee down, toes relaxed, both hands forward, shoulder width apart. Stay here. If this is the best you want to, uh, this is all you want to do today, that's fine. Right? Those of us who want to drop our elbows down, drop your elbows down. Let me go a little bit back. Right? You can stay here. Or you have an option to extend, bring your forehead down. Deep breaths in and out. Relax your glutes and your lower back. Very slowly walk your hands back towards your body. Left comes next to the body. Simply sweep your back leg, bring it forward. Right leg extended, flex your feet, left is bent. Take your hands all the way up. Right to the right, left over your head. Simple side body stretch. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Left hand comes down, left knee comes down. Lift your hips up, drop your right feet down. Right hand goes all the way over. Right side of the body is feeling the stretch. Circle your hands, helicopter your hands. Start to dig your right leg, flex your feet. And by the time you land, your heel is already digging to the ground. Let's take the left hand all the way up. Make a fist, rotate that wrist off immediately and reverse the direction. Let go, extend your legs. A lot of work around the hips today, guys, specifically, if you notice, many of us have been working from home, we have been sitting a lot, watching TV, what not, right? Because we're not going out, so I thought it would be really nice to open up those hips. Point and flex. Point and flex. And let it go. I'm going to do two more, uh, also again focused on the hips today. So we're going to take our right leg, bend it, and rest your ankle on top of your extended left leg, right? On top of your left thigh, like this. Some of us may not be able to go any further, we're going to stay here. You're going to really all, still feel it at the thigh, outside of the thigh and your hip. If you are able to, bend your left leg. Take your heel, flex your feet. You can stay here because now you're feeling a little bit more around your right glute, right? Those of us who want to take it a little bit deeper, take both your hands to the back. Stay okay here, walk that left leg a little closer, place that feet down. Maybe we are feeling a little bit more around that right leg. You can stay here. Want to go deeper? Lift your hips up. Walk that hips a little bit closer to the body. Now walk your hands along with you, right? Because otherwise the hands will stay behind. Walk it closer to you. Maybe you can stay here. Maybe you can lift your hips up. Maybe you can drop it a little bit closer and walk your hands. Stay. Feel that deep stretch around your right glute. And breathe.
Gently lift your hips up. Switch back. Take your hips back. Gently extend that leg up. And release your right leg. Shake it off. What a nice stretch around the hips, guys. Keep your right leg. Dig the heel. Flex your feet. Bend your left. Rest your ankle on top of your right thigh. Stay here. Those of us who are just staying here, work on using your hand to press that leg down so that you can open up those inner thighs. You can lift it up maybe and down. So you're kind of articulating that hip joint. This is good. Option, take your hands back. Slowly start to bend your knee. Dig your heel, flex your feet. Maybe you just want to stay here. Want to go further? Drop your right feet down. A little bit more. Up. Come closer. Walk your hands with you. Up. Come closer. And walk your hands. Stay here. Now connect with your left glute. Slow, deep, long breaths. Two more. And one more. Slowly lift your hips up. Take it back. Extend your right leg all the way out. Release your left leg and shake it off. I hope that was helpful. We're going to down stretch. This is going to feel super nice. I really love this one. Let's bend the right leg. This is the, the nice part of it. <laughs> Not the easy part, I would say. Right? Dig the heel and let's take that right leg all the way over. Now, if you notice, I'm constantly trying to pull that leg towards my body, right? So I'm going to use the leg to press my belly up top. And my crown of your head, my head is reaching up. Okay? Let's hold on to the right ankle with the left hand. And now, just try, I think you're holding a nice little baby, right? And then pull, hugging the baby, pull that leg towards your body. That feels a nice stretch all the way from the hips. Let's stretch it out. This is so easy, you can do it well at home as well, anytime you feel like it's safe to do it without supervision. You're not going to hurt yourself. Breathe. And slide. Let's bend the left leg, take it over. Now, notice how I'm trying to sit up tall. I'm using my belly to sit up tall. Right? And now you can hold on to your left ankle with your right. Use this hand to pull this thigh towards your body. So try to sit like you're, you're doing two things here. You're pulling this leg towards you. You're also guiding it with your left palm and now sitting up top. Flex your right leg. Keep that leg engaged. And release. Let it go. You're going to feel so loose after this. When you walk, you're going to feel like you're flying, right? Let's bring our, the base of the feet towards each other, butterfly. This is easy now. Your inner thighs are so nice and relaxed. Let's fly those wings. And let's let it go, guys. Okay, let's come down to the mat. Bring your knees along with you into your chest. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps. Let's massage that back. Now, this is really the most crucial and the important part of the class. So do not skip massaging of your back. After all the working of the body, your back needs a little pampering and a massage. So please make sure you do this one. And reverse. Nice circles touching the four corners around your tailbone. Come back to the center, pull your thighs into your chest, keep your feet flexed. Move your knees from side to side, massaging it to the width of the mat. Drop your feet into bridge position feet. When I say bridge position feet, I'm going to guide you from the base of your feet 
So create that anchor point that you did in the beginning of the class. Both your feet are pressing to the ground. Your feet are hip width apart, which means to say your thighs are not hugging each other. Rest your hands next to your body. Notice if you're arching your back because you know you're going to lift up, sometimes you start to tense up the lower back. Press your lower back to the ground first, deliberately. Press your shoulders, relax them. Relax all your facial muscles. Breathe. Now slowly and gently press on your feet and start to lift your tailbone off the ground. Your lower back, I want you to go sequentially and slowly. Your mid back. And now lift your belly button all the way up to the ceiling. Now, I want you to feel your feet. Do you have same amount of body weight on both feet? Or are you leaning to one side more than the other? Hold the position, but breathe. Shoulder blades down. Your mid back, your lower back, and your tailbone. One last time, bring your knees into your chest and draw circles. And reverse. Move your knees from side to side. Extend your legs, reach your hands over your head. Let's give a full body stretch. Point your fingers and toes in the opposite direction. Now keep your hands over your head just the way they are. Flex your feet, press your heels away. And release. Open up your hands, open up your legs. Final resting position, Shavasana. Starting to move your hands and legs a little bit away from the body. Lift your hips up a little bit, settle it down to the ground so the lower back settles down. Relax your shoulder blades and all your facial muscles, including your jaw and your eyeballs. Very slowly bend both your knees and turn your body to the right side. And take the support of your hands and make your way up into a seated position with your eyes closed. Bringing your hands to the heart center with the thumb touching the heart center. If you wish to make a small prayer for your loved ones and the world around you, you can do that at this time. Very slowly begin to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and very slowly coming up to eye level. Let's all take a bow together and say Namaste. 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 Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. Those of you who want to relax a little bit more, if you have time, you can lie down in Shavasana for a few more minutes at your home. So because we are already out of time. Don't hesitate to take a little bit of rest after the class. Thank you. See you all next Tuesday.